Have you ever thought why new Windows, or if you bought a new laptop with pre-installed Windows, works faster at the beginning, but after a few days it slows down? Definitely, every PC user faces this problem at some point, and today, I'll tell you why it happens and how to fix it. Look, there are multiple reasons, but the major one, if you've heard it before, is called RAM leak. Yep, that's right. And today, I'll explain this properly and show you how to fix it. Before doing anything, make a restore point. These steps are totally safe. I'm personally using these tweaks on my main device right now. I usually do them right after a fresh Windows installation. So, RAM leak, in simple words, means Windows reserves a small chunk of your total RAM as backup for background services, no matter if you're actually using those services or not. Because of that, let's say you have 8 gigabytes RAM. Your programs will only get to use around 7 gigabytes. That's just an example. And since nowadays, Windows itself consumes almost 4 gigabytes of RAM, including drivers and essential services, it makes things worse for gaming. That's when you start seeing lag, stutters, and RAM usage sitting above 90%. Note, users with 16 gigabytes or more might not face these issues that much because they already have enough headroom. And 80% of people don't play memory-heavy games for long sessions, so 16 gigabytes works fine. So basically, our goal is to stop Windows from reserving that RAM unnecessarily, and only let it use memory when it's actually needed. This will significantly improve gaming performance and productivity tasks where you need more active RAM, letting your programs run more efficiently. This tutorial is divided into three segments. Registry tweaks, our main part, BIOS optimization to boost RAM clock speed safely, and the third one is a tool, small Microsoft tool. Let's get started. Step one, registry tweaks. The first thing we'll do is disable memory compression. Now, memory compression is a Windows feature that compresses background data and stores it, theoretically useful, but in reality, it puts extra load on your CPU, especially bad for low-end PCs. And obviously, people with low-end setups are the ones looking for optimization the most, right? Open Registry Editor by typing regedit in the Windows search bar, then hit Enter. Once inside, go to H key Local Machine, System, Current Control Set, Control, Session Manager, Memory Management. When you click on Memory Management, on the right side, look for a key named Disable Compression. If it's not there, you can create it yourself. It works perfectly fine. To create it, right-click on the empty space, go to New, DWORD 32-bit, Value, and name it Disable Compression. Make sure the capitalization is exactly the same. Then double-click on it and set its value to 1. That disables memory compression. Now, we've successfully disabled that feature. Next up, RAM Management. Find the key named Large System Cache and set its value to zero. If it's not there, again, you can create it manually. So what does it do? In short, it controls your cache behavior. Suppose you open multiple programs. Windows keeps generating cache and storing it so that next time, those apps load faster. If you've got plenty of fast RAM, you can leave it enabled. But personally, I disable it. Why? Because when you use your PC for long hours, that cache keeps growing and your available RAM keeps shrinking. This puts unnecessary load on your memory and can increase latency during gaming. Next up, clear page file at shutdown. This one's about virtual memory. If you set it to one, it'll automatically clear virtual memory every time you shut down your PC, starting fresh, next boot. That's actually a good cleanup practice. And that's it for the registry part. I know there are lots of other tweaks out there, but most of those are old legacy optimizations that don't work anymore on Windows 24H2 or newer versions. So ignore them. And please never tweak anything random without a legit source. And yeah, I admit in the past, I also used to do a bunch of those so-called optimizations that don't even work now. So I stopped doing that myself. Anyway, our registry part is done. Step two. BIOS optimization. In simple words, you just need to enable AXMP or XMP slash DOCP in your BIOS. This allows your RAM to run at its maximum rated speed safely. For a detailed guide, I already have a short video on that. I'll leave the link in the description. Check it out because this setting has different names depending on your motherboard brand. And I also explained how to find your exact model. And honestly, 
Let's not waste your time here. Just watch that short video for full details. Step three, RAM map tool. RAM map is a tiny utility, less than one megabyte from Microsoft's official site. What it basically does is clear your RAM cache manually. So once you download it, launch the tool, and I'll show Task Manager side by side so you can see how it actually works. Look at the cache value here under the memory section. Now let's clear it. One click for each section, about five clicks total, and done. This tool is especially useful if you have 16 gigabytes RAM or less. Before gaming, just clean up your RAM once with this. And that's it, guys. After doing all these tweaks, restart your PC so the changes take effect. I've already restarted mine and played some games to test everything again, since I hadn't optimized my system for almost a year and just did a fresh Windows reinstall today. So yeah, I'll be updating you again with the latest stuff I personally use. Till then, take care of yourself, and one last request, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and like this video. See you next time.